some gas as I usually am let me uh, avoid crashing here and uh, once I get the gas we're gonna be on the way and then we'll see what we get into what the day has in store for us if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe I appreciate you that is fire right there I love that stay tuned man because I will be having an m3 on this channel eventually I would say in the near future, you know, closer to the near future than the distant future, 100%. I don't know really what year yet I want to go with the M3. There's so many fire years to go with, but um, wait on that because that's coming. I'll be good right there, right? Yeah. My boy Magic. Yo, what's yeah. up, man? <laughs> back to the back to the vlog lifestyle. Oh man, yes. You remember you did that for a while? Yes. I haven't done that shit in a minute though. We, we gotta get you back to it, bro. Coming soon, man. So we're about to just go cruise around and uh, you know, just scope out some business opportunities, you know, see if we get inspired. You guys are gonna see from the ground up. You know, started at the bottom to the top type shit. Like, ground level all the way up to who fucking knows. There ain't no limit. Like, people say the sky is the limit. I say there ain't no limit. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no limits on the things that we could do in life. And, man, all I know is my life is going to be crazy. I know my boy's life is going to be crazy, <laughs> even crazier than it already is. Like, that's why you got to only keep people around you. Like, it's cool if you have friends. You know that ain't really ambitious and don't really like have big goals but the people that you keep around you the most they got to be on the same type of mindset that you're on friends is like the biggest thing if you hang around 10 broke motherfuckers guess what you're gonna be the 11th broke motherfucker <laughs> and it's exactly. okay to have like broke friends it's, it's it's not always about money it's just about how you prioritize your relationships you know what i mean you have to have yeah. your weed niggas over there your drinking people there your part your your party people you know in one section and then you know you got your business friends and then you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah but yeah. you just can't hang around with like the same type of people you know what i mean because everybody gets comfortable and if the people around you are just you know what i mean watching football games all day drinking or whatever like yeah it's 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 cool to do that every once in a while but it, it can't be like an everyday thing you know what i'm yeah. saying and it's easy easy to get trapped into like a lifestyle like that you know what i'm saying yeah. and it's, it also depends on your goals it's cool if you want a simple life and you just want to you know work your nine to five and you know have a little family like that's there's no issue with that whatsoever but me personally i'm trying to do crazy shit in life i'm trying to fucking change the world I'm trying to experience everything that life has to offer and I've always been like that since a little kid there's been times where I stepped off track and uh, got into things that I really shouldn't have been into and wasted a whole lot of time but 
at the end of the day, I wouldn't take none of it back because I'm at where I'm at now and I'm going to where I need to be. So that's all that matters. Yes, sir. That, that's that's like the like tipping point of my life where it just like, it just pushed me. I didn't, I like, I couldn't even think. I just said, I have to do this. And I did it without, I quit my job without a plan. It's crazy. And that's the risk that you have to take yeah. in life, bro. When you're trying to get to a certain level. Bro, I was making over $150,000. Most people would just be comfortable. Bruh, nobody's quitting that fucking <laughs> yeah. job, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then within two, two or three months, I ended up signing a million dollar contract with the with the U.S. Navy. Yeah. I don't know how I did that, bro. I just, I remember, I just did it, bro. Yeah. I remember. That was when you started uh, the Black uh... Black Cyber. And then the pandemic came, and then it just pushed me straight into my passion. You know what yeah. I mean? Like cybersecurity work was cool, but hey man i've been trading for 10 years a lot of people don't don't understand but i was doing stocks and forex before we had the whole twitter internet all that shit, yeah. youtube yeah and then bam and now i'm doing my passion we here we right in the heart of the area slow so where i'm from we don't have no places like this we got broadway <laughs> but and we got a mall but like you you ain't gonna really see people walking around like this you know I'm from uh, I'm from the place where they kicked all the the uh, minorities and all that. They kicked us over there. And don't get me wrong, there's some rich people in where I stay, but they're like on the outskirts. But this is where you want to be. There's mothers. This oh, okay. is a little uh, party spot. They got the library right here. When you want to come party, this is where everybody comes. So shit usually gets popping. We used to be out here fucking three, four times a week. When I was wasting my life away. Go off because when we was in there, there was okay. There you go. All right, thank you. Ah. Any color preference for the lights? Uh, How about blue? Yeah. Blue. All right. Here, blue. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. I've never stayed here. I've only I got a massage. Actually, I was here the other day. I got a massage. There you go. Little bridge. Hey, bro. Just the start to this lifestyle. So. <laughs> wait till y'all hear what we got planned. Actually, you ain't gonna hear it till you see it. Zero, and I'll come running. My All man. Right. Appreciate seconds. you, man. All right. Thank you so much. You Have a good one. Yeah. Okay. Bro, in the daytime, it's not beautiful. Out here in the little bungalows. This is sick, bro. How much uh, they charge a night? Five. What? <laughs> yeah. See, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. There's levels to this shit. I'm a <laughs> yeah. motherfucker paying 500 a night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. But I don't know about the inside though. I mean, it's, it's cool, but I don't know who, who was in charge of painting, but. Yeah. You pay for the location and all the amenities. Oh shit. Yeah, Got the fireplace popping. Uh -huh. The mineral water shit in the back out there. Yeah. Bro, in the daytime, bro. It's, oh it's, shit. It's so much better in the daytime. Bro. See, this is what you pay for. All, like all the nature and shit. Oh yeah. All the creek running and shit. It's all green and shit. So what, uh, you just turn this shit on and uh, Oh, you could turn it cold too? Yeah, bro, hot, and then you just freaking fill it up. Oh, you could do your little cold therapy over yeah. here. That's crazy, I thought it would just be uh, full the whole time. Yeah, bro, let me know all warm as shit in here. It's warm as hell, and I was cold too. Okay, oh, two shower heads, damn. You take two showers in that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Later in the void solid little um discussion you know what i'm saying some shit yes. right there y'all can't see right there <laughs> you know a little nose mean? man hide the nose hide, hide the nose, nose. y'all can't see none of that we yes. got some big shit on the way believe that yes believe that believe that you know we can't really divulge too much or is that the correct word divulge? yes divulge yeah, yeah i think <laughs> <laughs> we can't no, get into it let's just say that you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> we, we can't get into that shit with you right now. We can't get into it, but just know, you'll know when when you know the, the time comes. You'll know. Yes. This shit's gonna be on a whole other level. Like 
We're gonna be in a room similar to this, except when we walk out, we're gonna be pushing buttons for fireplaces. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, what's going on? Things are really about to change. Damn, so you get fucking card access all night, like whenever? Or, what? Yeah. or is there a cutoff? 24 7? Damn. Because it's the only way to get to it. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. That's yeah. Alright, here we go. Holy hell. Alright, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, yeah bro, thank you. you. Alright, you yeah. too. Alright, bro. Alright, then, brother. Fucking freezing, bro. God damn. The next day. So I don't know if you guys saw that right there, but um, I gotta get my oil changed. I like to do that sort of stuff myself, but um, have a coupon and I'm um, gonna get a really good deal on an oil change. So I'm gonna go into the dealership, see if they got time to get me in, uh, see if they can even get me in because last time I went for them to go check something, they couldn't get my car up on the lift, seeing as how my car is lowered on lowering springs. So um, they couldn't get the little arms or whatever they use to lift up the car underneath my vehicle. So I'm gonna go over there and see if they're even actually able to do it. And if not, I'm gonna see if the other Dodge dealership or Chrysler dealership that is around my area will be able to do it. I don't know if they have some sort of different lift or, you know, I don't know. But hopefully one of them will be able to get me in because I also have to have them check um, on this noise that my car's been making. It's been making like a whining sort of noise when I accelerate. So I'm thinking it's the diff fluid. Maybe I gotta change the diff fluid. So I'm gonna go in and talk to them about that as well, and we'll see what they say. So I'm going on a little like type road trip uh, in like a week or two, something like that. So I gotta get this done ASAP. So that's why, you know, we here at the dealership. We about to see what's good. They ain't got nothing on the lot as usual nowadays. This is a little bit lower. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it'll, be, it'll be one of those things we'd have to just see. Something like this, we can drive it in and jack it up and then swing the front end, swing the back end. The only ones on the lot. Only ones that I've seen. But yeah, I'm about to here, man. As far as like the diff, well, I don't know if it is the diff, but the whining noise goes, I'm gonna have to come back for that. I had to make an appointment. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to call the other one I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing, but I'll call anyways. If not, I'll just have to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. The only reason I was coming over here is because I had that coupon, you know, and I wanted to take advantage of that, but oh well, we'll see what I gotta do. Tomorrow. So the other day I was going to Costco, or I was at Costco, and um, I never, pull forward into places people might think we do that to be cool or whatever but really the reason i do it is because my car is low i got obviously i got the splitter as you guys know and i ain't trying to mess nothing up so i never go forward into parking spaces but for some reason i decided to go forward this day and i don't know where my mind was I must not have been thinking because I'm always super careful and I finally messed up the splitter guys I messed it up I was always so prideful and like so um, you know proud of the fact that I had never messed it up gone it went so long I don't even know over a year I went so long and everybody was always like man I can't believe you ain't messed that up yet I'm like come on man you know who you're talking to but I finally messed it up, so I'm about to show you guys. It is what it is, I didn't really let it get to me, you know, I, I, I heard it, I felt it, and I was just like, you know, I just did, did one of those. I was like, I went out, looked at it, and was like, you know, it is what it is, man. That's all you could say, but. There it is, and I know my car is filthy, you know, get off my dick. 
<laughs> but uh yeah i mean it's not that bad it's not like crazy but still it's like it hurt it hurt a little bit but i didn't let it get to me you know i didn't really let it get to me too much you could probably like notice it more in person but you see like obviously there is some damage and it probably looked better once i clean it you know i might be able to do something and um make it look as unnoticeable as possible but i officially damaged the splitter and with that being said that's going to conclude the video hopefully you guys enjoyed everything i took you through stay tuned because we got a lot coming if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe it helps out tremendously i appreciate it greatly all the links for everything are down below in the description for anything you guys might need the 1391 merch and apparel the gaming channel if you guys are into that everything i use and recommend on this channel my social platforms everything is down below so if you guys are interested go check all that out until the next time i'm gonna see you guys soon who is louis 13 checking out I appreciate you guys more than you know.